The world is grappling with another record-breaking pandemic that most people are largely unaware of. It's avian influenza, a deadly form of the virus that primarily affects birds. And it's distantly related to the seasonal flu that humans cope with every year. The current outbreak has killed more than 100 million wild birds and farmed animals. The economic impact has been severe for producers and consumers as egg and chicken and turkey prices soar. But the real fear is that the virus might undergo a mutation that enables it to spread among humans. To date, there's no proof that it transmits from person to person. And a few individuals have fallen sick only after coming into contact with infected birds. There were two cases reported in Cambodia earlier this year. I'm in Prey Vang, Cambodia. This is the village where the 11-year-old girl contracted avian influenza. She lived in a house in this village where she shared her home with chickens, two of which became ill and died. Her father subsequently was also diagnosed with avian influenza. The girl tragically died and her father was able to recover. And that's the danger. More than half the people who contract H5N1 die from it. If it does become more contagious among humans, the death rate could dwarf those seen during COVID. Already there are signs the virus is mutating. Reports of outbreaks among other mammals, in minks and seals and grizzly bears, suggest new variants are emerging. It would be an understatement to say that researchers are monitoring the situation closely. What we are looking here is how these viruses has been emerged, what are the changes in these viruses which make them more fit, and how we can make a better vaccines, as well as what the risk of these viruses to human. Laboratory data show that H5N1 aren't able to bind to human cells. Therefore, it poses very little risk to humans, but there are still concerns. Always there is a risk because the virus can change any time. Therefore, we are monitoring the virus uh, while they are circulating in wild world or in the poultry or infecting other mammalian species, for example, foxes, otters, or sea lions. Despite pandemic fatigue, the world is responding. Health authorities are making sure they won't be caught off guard. Vaccines and treatments and diagnostics are in development. For now, for the rest of us, we wait.